everybody, Dave here again, and today I'm going to build one of these booster kits that Estes puts out. Um, these are part of their Almost Ready to Fly series of rockets, and these allow uh, a single stage rocket to be turned into a double stage rocket. So for example here I have an Estes Chiller, which is part of the ARF series. And I'll show you how one of these boosters can fit onto here after we get it built. Okay, they have two sizes here. Uh, they build just the same. I'm just going to build the 55 one, and this is for uh, any of the ARF rockets that are based on a BT 55 body tube or airframe. Inside, it's relatively simple. So we'll just open this up here. Okay, so the, this is the main body, um, and this is already assembled. And so this has been glued together already at the factory. And let's see here, we've got some instructions. Here are the pieces. Okay, so we've got four fins, a um, couple of adapter pieces, and they actually give you a spare adapter piece here um, because the this will actually be exposed to the uh, exhaust gases of the upper stage and also to the ignition gases of the lower stage. And it does come with some fairly succinct instructions here. Now something to keep in mind is that this is meant for a D120 booster engine. Most of the rockets that it's going to attach to use 18 millimeter engines. So this is a 24 millimeter engine and this is an 18 millimeter engine mount. And so this is going to actually boost it up fairly high. The, according to the package it can add uh, up to 800 feet to your altitude. Now if you've ever built any of the ARF series of rockets, this is going to seem really familiar. So we're going to simply glue on some fins here, and I'm just going to dry fit these, make sure they all fit. Okay, and they have through the wall fin mounts, and they lock into place. Now I have to pull these apart to glue them again. Uh, the motor would fit in here. This is a spent casing. This is not what you would use. You'd want a D12-0, not a D12 anything with an ejection charge. Okay, but that, that retains there. And then this fits on to the actual rocket here. Uh, you have to remove the engine retainer. And this is one of the necessities. You have to, these ARF rockets have the screw-on motor retainer, and so this adapter gets screwed on here. Okay, and so the exhaust is going to come out through this hole of the sustainer, and then when this is built, this simply moves into place here. Okay, so now, and it looks kind of weird because you've got, in this case, a three-finned rocket with a four-finned booster. Uh, and all you have to do is just make sure that it's aligned so that the launch rod can still go up through the launch lugs here. Um, the, the rest of this does not make a lot of difference. Okay, now, it's always a good idea to check the stability of your rocket with and without this. And for example, the, the chiller comes with some added nose weight in the form of modeling clay. And if all you're ever going to do is fly that, this particular rocket by itself, you don't need it here. The reason they added the nose weight was to keep it stable if this booster was attached. 
Okay, and probably uh, many of the other ARF rockets, I suspect, are going to have the same design in that they have the added weight there in anticipation that someone might use one of these boosters. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this back apart again. Come back here, we will go through the actual gluing and assembly. So to put this together, all we need to do is glue the fins on. And for this, you can either use uh, plastic model cement like this, or in the tube, uh, or you could use uh, super glue. Either one will work fine. And so what we want to do here is put glue along the contact edges here. Uh, we don't need any on the bottom of the, t the fin tabs here. This doesn't actually contact anything. All the contact occurs along this inside ridge and then in between the regions here on the fin tab. So I'm just going to put a, a layer on here. the other side. Okay. With this particular glue it tends to evaporate quickly so sometimes you have to recoat it quick. Okay, and then we simply take it like this so the the end without the trailing ridge here goes in front and we just pop these in here, slide them forward with one rapid motion, and move on to the next one. 